Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Poissons Gloria here in EU4. Um, before we get into this crazy episode that I have planned for us, I want to ask you guys, show your support and leave a like if you're enjoying the campaign because the support has been incredible, uncontested, the best support I've ever gotten from a campaign. And if you guys are still interested to see us continuing this, I would like to know. And uh, leaving a like on the video, best way to do it. Anyways, we're going to ditch these lower level guys with an attempt to uh, get another Commandant so we can have that 140% discipline. So anyways, I basically have given up on the HRE. Um, and so what we're going to basically do is uh, we're going to ride out and try to get our try to get our claims here. So let's take a look. We have no, cl no uh, uh, what's it called? No truce here. So let's wait till we get our guy back. So we have no... They're transferring trade power. Should be an easy war then. We also are going to need to annex this guy. Sadly, he's a free city, so we can't attack him. Or can we? Yeah, no, we cannot. Anyways, let's cancel this. Now we wait. So, let's get our armies here. Definitely don't need you guys down there. So let's get you guys over here. We definitely need to make sure people are entering the coalition. It's understandable. This guy could if he wanted to. I don't know why he hasn't, honestly. And on the 12th, we will attack him. Oh, he joined the coalition. Well, isn't that a damn shame? Okay, well. Let's see here. Castile, Great Britain. They want They want friendship. So, it would be nice. We have no favors. We have favors with these two guys. Let's take a look here. We got our discipline guy. Now, check that out. <laughs> good things to come. Do we need... Yes, very good. So, next month, we'll be able to... Let's get a couple more months of uh, professionalism gain. Let us take this. And uh, let us take our monthly tax modifier and autonomy change, as well as Diplo Rep advisor cost is a good one, but so is Diplo Rep and War Exhaustion. So why not take both? You know, why not? It doesn't hurt us. We are doing fine on tech. We're just barely behind on this one. Mill tech is just absolutely cruising. So with that, we are finished with that. So we don't need this uh, church power anymore. Let's go with... Prestige is dropping quite fast, but uh, I think some manpower recovery speed seems appropriate. Yes, sir. We want to improve relations with Britain. They want to be our ally, so we will ally them. The coalition likely won't fire as long as we have big, strong allies on either side. Have no diplomats to send, so let's pull this guy back and grab that friendship there. Look at that. Not bad. We are surrounding the coalition so I think we have to attack our coalition um, I don't think it, there's really a option against it so if the Ottomans weren't in so much debt they would help Britain is allied to them so I would like to probably do it by attacking Clevs are these guys in our coalition they are not we have a truce with them so who's who's not in the coalition so a lot of people are not it's mostly the big guys hmm Let's see here. Who could I get in? They won't join. Britain definitely wouldn't. Spain would, but they're literally 4,000 ducats in debt. So... Here's the question. Does it make sense to just do a... War for show superiority with the intention of killing all their armies? So let's take a look here. Who do we have... Holy War CB on. Well, most of the people around us have, uh... Have, uh, truces. Expand Empire. I'm not sure if that actually got fixed in the patch that came out today. Expand Empire is to take his capital anyways, but we have some claims on him, so... I mean... So that would call in... A lot of people. How are our forts looking? So, I vote we take some time 
to, um... I vote we actually just take a couple of months, build up some forts. Let's actually get these guys somewhere where they're not going to be in direct danger of getting jumped on. Matter of fact, we're making the money. Let's get these forts beefed up. Let's actually get rid of this one. This guy here. This is fine. These guys do not connect, so we're going to need one in all of these. And uh, I don't really care about um, Lithuania. So let's get rid of this guy. We don't need this one. Now let's get one more loan, and we will put that on our capital, of course. Matter of fact, let's surround the capital because I'm getting annoyed and very sick of people just marching on the capital. So, right here. This way, nobody will be able to march onto our capital unless they take at least Magdeburg. They'll have to take at least two capital, two forts. So, when this is all done, then we'll be able to uh, get the jump on these guys. So, so, we need to make sure these guys like me. Like me lots. So, we've already done this. So... Oh yeah, yeah. Let's get some improved relations for a couple months. Is there anything I can do to improve relations with these guys? More people joining our coalition. Don't really care about infantry costs. Don't. Mm. We're still ahead on this, so I'll just spend the points to get it. What is this? This looks goofy. I don't know what's going on with that one. But we can just pay off these loans as we go, and then. As the wars, you know, as we piece people out, we'll be able to uh, make it happen. So, as long as our king, the various enter the coalition. Yeah, we're, uh, oh, it's so close, honestly. Augsburg. Yeah, AE is just not going to let it happen, man. Reform zealots, we're at. Down here. Ah, eh, whatever. Oldenburg has entered a coalition. It's fine. So, let's take a look at our governing capacity. The question is, is do we state up some of the stuff? Because we can put our defensive edicts on. Uh, we don't have any of them on right now. We can certainly afford it. Um, I'll hold off on it for now. Let's lose some legitimacy. And then uh, take those points and put them into getting our absolutism up. We'll probably go revolutionary as well. Let's see here. What is our next major thing that we want? Duchy of Klebs. So we need this one province. So this might be the powder keg. This is the one that we're going to go for. Um, it's literally this one province. And then after we take it, we will get claims on Lower Rhineland, Hesse, and the Palatinate. Wonderful. Which then gets us to AE Impact. That would be very useful. Permanent claims in the North Germany region. Very interesting. Reform the state. Uh, we'll be able to get that one eventually. Admittedly, I kind of screwed that up by uh, not taking this citat uh, moi or whatever, and then instead of clicking that button. So I've learned from my mistakes. I was chastised in the comments, and rightfully so. So you were right, and I was wrong. Sorry, boys. Uh, national unrest is fine. I have no rebels. I kind of want to build some ramparts. Extra attrition. It's beautiful. Lithuanian peasants. Wow, Lithuania. What are you doing over there, man? Croatian noble rebels. Croatia's... Oh, Lubeck declared. Okay, the coalition has been declared. I suppose. Worst things have happened. I did not think it was going to, but uh, the British and the Ottomans joined on our side, and our PU is now safe. These numbers... Completely disregard them. Check this out. We are, um... Obviously, we need to be a little careful here for a moment, because we don't have much, um... Much in terms of morale, but let's see here. 32 is our force limit, or is our front line. So let's take two guys here, and then... Move all the cannons over here. Um... 
Ay, ay, ay. They're not gonna get the morale tick. You like that? <laughs> okay. So anyways, uh, this is our doom stack here. And this stack here can be grouped up, certainly. The only downside is, is that our forts aren't done, so we need to be very aware of that. So... So this stack is a bit wide, admittedly. We're just gonna hang out and make sure that we can get our forts started. That's the major thing. Oh my. Oh my. It's just crazy. Like, these are actually instantaneous mark, um... Instantaneous wipes. Okay. Now. Hmm. I want that big Austrian stack big time. There's another big Austrian stack over here. I suppose there's no reason to keep my men grouped up. So let's get some of these guys over here. So this this stack, I, I would like to catch them. So let's force march them and see if we can track them down. Nice. So they have guys reinforcing. We are taking a negative two here, but uh, yeah. But alas, it does not matter. Okay. So, you know, we're about four, three, two, three months in. It's uh, not looking too good for you guys. <laughs> we're at 14, Sir Superior War. Uh, at this point, you know, a uh, coalition is more of a meme, right? I kind of wanted them to attack because I was bored. I encourage it. Bring it on. How's that? How you like that, Austrians? Okay, so let's take Poland's capital. Why not? Now, we are taking a little bit of attrition, but uh, be mindful of it. So, let's put these guys up here and have those guys come over here. We'll siege down a few guys if we can, right? No reason not to. Save a little bit of manpower if we have the opportunity to. And all of these forts are finishing up. This is very important. These forts are, uh... So... The more men we take out, the better. Beautiful. Those Bavarians, man. They didn't have to join that coalition, but they did. Very good. As we siege down everybody, we're going to be able to get more and more influence. And I will be able to annex more and more land. So we'll take Clevs in this war. That's no problem, right? Um, just need to be aware. Can't let our boys get caught out separately. That's a, that's a no-go. So we won the Siege of Cleve, or however it's pronounced. So, who can we piece out separately? Nobody. Every single one of them are, is a member of the Coalition. And that's no problem with me. Let's get you guys over here and siege down Lubeck. Lubeck is the war leader. Come on now, give me the siege. Then we're gonna be able to head over here and beat up on these Austrian stacks. These big chunky Austrian stacks are the ones that I want to be seeing. Now, the French are in on this, so as far as I know, I haven't seen a single French stack, but they actually don't have that many men either, so don't you dare. Oh, really? They took it back in one month? So here's the French stack we were talking about. Give me that 17 stack, baby. That's what I thought. So Munster is a fort, a woods fort, so this is great. We might not actually be able to win this. Oh, well, we stack wiped them. Nice. So let's head over here. Yeah, this one's a little up in the air. Oh, yeah, we're getting reinforced. We win that. Very good. So some rebels popping elsewhere. Just so many peasants. Like, what? Are, what's the uh, what's the move against those guys? You know. Okay. Very good. Summon a diet. Um, Lundberg. Base Mantax and Lundberg. 
So let's uh, do that. Great. Free manpower. You can't beat it. Okay. Might as well do a little bit of carpet sieging. Why not? Once we take these forts up here, we'll have a lot more, uh, you know, freedom to kind of roam around. So apparently we stack wiped a random stack up there. Ay ay ay. These guys have no idea what they're doing getting in, get, attacking me up here. Let's take this fort here. It's a nice stack over here. So how come you guys are in on this war? Why are you in on this war? Am I missing something, guys? Why is Picardy a defender in this war? They have no allegiance with me. I have no idea. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's fine with me. I don't care. I just don't know why. Okay. Let's have you guys group up. The forts are mostly done. Hence why our income has absolutely tanked. <laughs> That's kind of to be expected, I suppose. The British are going to siege down New Brandenburg. Sounds good. They might be attacking me here. Yeah, they are. Look at that. How you like that? <laughs> oh my gosh. You fools. I have unlimited power. The Prussian Space Marines come marching. They are certainly, certainly marching. Oh, those are rebels. I don't care about you. I'm still confused about why Picardy's in on this war. But I will certainly take an ally when I can get one. Alright, a couple months we can take this. Vienna is ours. And let's siege down Austria proper. I think that's what its state is called. Yes. Not sure what they moved around and what they did not. So this war's been going on for a little over a year. Not bad, right? This is what I want. I can, you know, take more if I want it. So maybe something like this. Hey, you know? You guys attacked me. This is a defensive war. I have no reason to not take you. This is for border purposes. We'll see what I can do. We'll see what we can grab. Obviously, we want to take as much as we can. Uh, professionalism. Oh, it's a big hit to the manpower. But I suppose... If we need it, we can slack in standards. It's not a huge deal. It's definitely not something we want to do if we can avoid it, though. Let's get you guys down there and get you guys up here. Let's get a leader over here. Good. So let's siege down everything that we possibly can. There we go. We will defend our guys to the last man. They can reinforce. We're still going to win. Well, maybe not. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Jeez, oh, Pete. Okay. Well, not my best battle. Extend the Monopoly, a couple hundred ducats. Sounds good to me. So the Ottoman are in on this war. I mean... Who's lost all the men? I've lost 65, but... Austria alone has lost 137, so... We are... We're in good shape right now. Let's get our guys grouped up over here. Very good. Okay, so let's get these guys grouped up over here in Steiermark. Austria's done. So we have these guys grouped up. Let's head on over this way. Get these guys grouped up as well. We need to be smarter. This is my doom stack, so these are the guys that have all the cannons. They're the ones doing all the damage in the back row. So let's force march down here and see if we can catch them before they win that 42. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is great. We are taking heavy losses, but ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. Check this out. This battle is crazy. Oh, baby. How's that for a punitive war battle, huh? 
Not bad at all. Look at that. They're just coming in one by one, getting stack wiped. Take a shot every time I say stack wipe. So somehow they're on high enthusiasm reasons. Probably ongoing battles or whatever. Good. What do you boys say we march on Paris? Our manpower took a giant hit right then and there. But but alas, couldn't care less. Von Hohenzollern, Ruprecht. A long lost cousin of the king, perhaps? This is such an absolute whooping. These guys do not stand a chance. Whoa, we just accidentally stack wiped, you know, 15,000 Frenchmen. Like you do. Let's take Paris. We're doing fine. Brittany could use a PU. Let's just take this fort as well. Let's just take all of them. All kinds of forts. This is... Aye, aye, aye. This is uh, just absolutely nuts. Insanity. I remember playing as Prussia and, I'm, and them being very fun, but I don't remember them being this absolutely just nutty. Can I fight them in Verdun? I can. So this is Woods. But uh, let's do a force march over there. I think we should be a wipe anyways. Absolutely it was. Just a sweet. A bunch of people are going to be joining the coalition now, which is fine with me. So let's not have you force march. Let's have you guys all group back up over here. We're going to take these guys out over here in Caen. Yeah, our coalition's going to reform, but it's not going to fire. All the big guys are in war with us right now. Okay, cool. So we have low enthusiasm. We're very close to actually being able to take this. We could, I mean, <laughs> theoretically, we can take it whatever we want. Because the coalition is not going to go away. We will not be able to pass any more reforms. We will not win the emperorship after our current king dies. So who cares? We're going to end up dismantling the co- the, Or just, you know, continually attacking it until game over, right? Let's get these guys up here. Luxembourg has joined the coalition. Big whoop, as the kids say. Go ahead, join the coalition. See how that suits you. We still have manpower. We're good. Rebel uprising. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Okay, never mind. You guys might be able to rise up. I don't mind that. Frankfurt has entered the coalition. Ah, they're just reinforcing just in time, but still doesn't matter. Beautiful. Scold him publicly. I don't care. 10% is not much. Not enough. I need to worry about it. So we'll see what we can do here in this war. Um, how about this? We've actually lost a lot more than I thought. Ottomans have lost a decent amount as well. But these guys are getting whooped on. Look at this. They have like no more men. They're just constantly devastating. Like look at look at the war exhaustion all these guys. Can't sort by war exhaustion for reasons, but look at this. 18 for Oldenburg, 20 for Mecklenburg, 12 for Anhal. All of these guys are OPM, so it's not a big deal. Denmark. Austria's got five. And uh, a weekend Austria is great because Austria is more than likely going to win the Emperorship. Brabant, Lorraine. Again, I'll, I will say it again. I do not care. So let's come over here and siege you guys down. We're gaining manpower. I mean, we're, we're gonna lo we're losing manpower right now, but we will be gaining it as well. And uh, Ottomans have a casual 140 stack, just you know, very casual. That's the most Ottoman thing I've seen all day. Let's break that wall down. There we go. We should be able to peace out quite soon here. Siege this one down. So Picardy pieced out. Still don't know why they're in the war. They gave Valois over to the French. Sweden. We lost the Siege of Mines. Nay, I say. Where are we at right now? Over here. Do something like this. 
Once we uh, siege down a couple more things, we should be able to get the peace. Which also translates to a quite a long uh, peace deal with a lot of these guys. So, we'll see here. As far as peace deal goes, we're, we're good. Uh, I don't want them to take Vienna. That would be quite annoying. Let's have them come down here, wipe out these guys. We'll get a little bit of war score from each of those battles. Yeah, we are redoing loans, which is fine. Admin efficiency is good. It's actually going to make the peace deal a little bit cheaper. Something like this. Uh, we take these provinces. If they take Vienna, it's game over. But it looks like the Ottomans aren't going to let that happen. We can lose some manpower, it's fine. The war is basically over. Hmm... Aye, aye, aye. Didn't see that happening. Let's group up. Let's track down this big army here. Let's go catch these guys. They're on high enthusiasm. Now they're on low. It's very close. It's very close. Um, I don't know where those Austrians just disappeared to. Oh, here's some French. Go beat up on these guys, huh? How you like that? Is that a good show of strength right there? Oh, yikes. Now, how do we get this piece? No. The timer's basically up for this episode. But I want peace. That's all I want. That's all I ask is for peace. I'm peaceful. I, I, I want no trouble. I'm just a peaceful, benevolent monarch looking to expand my borders just slightly in northern Ger in northern Germany. Something like this. Get you guys over there. One more month maybe. Oh, come on now. It is so freaking close. Let's see who we can catch out over here. Something like this. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Let's get you over here. Next month we should be able to piece. Beautiful. Check that out. All this, all this clay. And they attacked me. Not bad, huh? Let's click the button here. Duchy of Clevs. Permanent claims on a bunch more stuff. Nice. Great. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please share your support. Leave a like, and if you subscribe and ding the bell, it sends you a notification every time we upload. If you're enjoying the campaign, that's the best way to do it. Um, and also, if you want to check out the Discord or support us and what we do over on the Patreon, links are in the description for that below the video. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot. I'll catch you guys later. On the left and right are a couple of playlists that you guys might like to check out. And a big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon for the month of June. Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Jaron Clampett, Wesley Grayson, Orbit Gaming, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Callus Cassowary, Blonde Damon, Matthew Balzarolo, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys.